Uh, sorry if the uh, light has changed a bit on the uh, video. There was a, the sun was moving across from the uh, window, so I've had to uh, just block that off so it's uh, not going to move across the painting. Um, what else have we got here? Just looking for another um, another piece that uh, that might work down here from the uh, from the painting I was doing this morning. Um, this has got some of the same sort of colours in it, so I kind of feel like it might it might work. I quite like this sort of flat mark here, which is quite interesting. I can get that too. It's not really that I'm trying. I'm not trying to get anything to sort of match up, or um, you know, sometimes this thing we will get a line and it kind of feels like it's kind of matching up. But I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really looking for that sort of thing. It's more. A sense of rhythm, I think, throughout the whole of the image, trying to find um, these kind of uh, rhythms that run through the image that lead your eye around and back down. Because you know, this this here, I'm looking at that now. I'm thinking that's quite interesting because rather than this here, which is just sort of leading your eye away, I feel like all these marks are taking your attention away from the the sort of central part part of the image. And uh, you know, finding it a little bit distracting. So, um, whereas I'm putting this piece here, it's kind of, or I'm still I'm losing my little bits of green, which I, I quite like. But I kind of feel that this this piece has more of the the rhythm that I'm trying to get. These these marks feel like they're moving this way. They're, they're bringing your eye in here, and then you these lines are leading your eye up this way. And then I've got these scratchy marks, which are kind of leading your eye back around this way. So there's this sort of circular rhythm going throughout the the painting um, even though this is a kind of irregular rough edge and these are straight edges I'm, I'm not too worried about that because these these are definitely um, you know the sketches they're, they're things that I will use for um, uh, you know looking at and getting inspiration for in the studio um, to maybe you know use as a starting point for a, a large painting or to pull out some ideas for a large painting so um, you know, slightly irregular edges don't bother me too much in fact sometimes it can be quite nice I think you just have to be careful um, when you have things like that uh, that you don't do it as a um, as a sort of mannerism that you're not having these sort of irregular edges just because it kind of looks a bit cool um, I like things to be there for a reason you know um, so this has kind of happened I found this piece and I feel like it's the right piece to go here the fact that it's got a slightly irregular edges kind of just accidental um, yeah well, I think that works quite well I like the way these big brush strokes are kind of pulling your eye in this way I like this big mark the way it's kind of drawing your eye around there so yeah I think I'm gonna go for that uh, I'll just um, yeah, as soon as I picked that up, I kind of looked at it. It's actually quite interesting when you um, you see something. I've started to get used to how this image looks now, and I, I take this away. And the original piece that I was, you know, concerned about, you know, it becomes fairly obvious that this all this empty space is very distracting, and these little green uh, sort of finger marks that I've, I've put here by doing this with the paint. Um, I definitely feel like they're, they're going this way and pulling your attention away. And as soon as I put that piece there, I kind of feel like everything's going back in the right direction, has much more of the right, the kind of rhythm and uh, energy that I'm after. Yeah. Right, so just uh, put a bit of glue on there as well. Just on that piece. Push it up slightly. It's got quite a lot of glue on it, so it's quite slidey. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think um, from the initial, um, I might turn it round so it's facing the camera. 
So yeah, I'll just, um, I'll just turn that around a bit so it's easy for you to see. But I think, um, yeah, so all I've done really is I, I cropped out the, the edges, really. Um, just took those edges out. The bits where it was just sort of uh, fading away to the edge again. I, you know, I don't really like this sort of vignetting. But I like to be able to um, not worry about uh, filling the paper up while I'm painting. Because I know I'm going to be doing this kind of process when I get back to the studio. So I'm not bothered about working to the edges. So, oh, you know, I've got to fill up the paper, you know. Um, that seems a bit silly. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all those things that you kind of pressurise yourself into thinking when you're, when you're painting. Uh, you know, I'd like to try and take away as much of those sorts of things as possible. So I think in terms of what I was really trying to do, uh, yeah, sorry, I'll just, I'll go back to what I was saying about, you know, just crop this piece out and just kind of used a, a fairly large piece as a starting point. And found this this piece here, which I think works actually better than what was under here. Anyway, even though I was kind of deliberately trying to um, cover up uh, a mistake, um, but I think it's worked out rather well because it's a lot better than the piece that was under there to begin with. Um, and then again, you know, trying to do something with this this bit down the bottom here, uh, just to find a way of bringing your eye in uh, and around. So there's this kind of circular rhythm through the image and maybe it's kind of slightly subconscious um, maybe it's just really obvious <laughs> you know when you're looking at it you go yeah why does he keep saying that you know it's really uh, it's really obvious stop stop laboring the point but uh yeah i mean this so i'm just you know looking at these sort of rhythms really and um yeah so i think in general it's got um, some of the feeling, some of the um, the sense of uh, where I was, and certainly, yeah, I feel like it's got to a point that it's it's doing something that I was I was trying to achieve. I've got you know, I've got somewhere um, that um, has has a semblance of what I was trying to achieve. Um, that kind of sense of uh, space and movement, and light, trying to get a bit of colour, um, trying to have a bit of fun. Uh, it's not that easy at the moment to, to think about enjoying yourself, so um, trying to get that that sense of uh, exuberance, I suppose, in a way that the landscape is kind of moving and it's it's energetic and it's exciting and um, you know just trying to do something with it, really. So um, there you go. Uh, so I um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the, the process that I go through when I'm, when I'm drawing and sketching, painting outside, uh, you know, starting with the idea of um, just making marks and playing with the paint and just trying to have a bit of fun when I'm outside, I paint all over my hands, which is good. Um, and then just thinking about the, the, the paintings that I do outside are a beginning, they're a, a starting point, they're, they're where I get my um, ideas from you know it's all about getting ideas it's all about gathering information and pulling in um, that sense of being out in the landscape and then when I get back to the studio I really that's where the the, the work is really because I'm trying to separate I suppose the processes the, the where I'm working with um, uh, outside, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to think too much, not trying to be um, clever, not trying to make pictures, just trying to, to respond to what's there. Um, so try not to, you know, think at all really. And then, you know, when I get back to the studio, that's where I do the bit where I'm thinking and thinking more about composition and um, all those things that I was doing with the, you know, in the sketchbook there. So, like I said, I hope you found it useful. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to do as many of these as possible. Um, and I hope that um, you know you can get a chance to get out and do some for yourself. Um, I know it's not easy at the moment. Um, you know I feel quite lucky in a way that I'm um, I live somewhere where it's you know it's quite di you know quite easy to to um, go places where I'm on my own and uh, you know I'm not <laughs> encountering hundreds of people all the time. But you know I hope wherever you are you are uh, able to give it a go and try and have some fun. Okay, well, I'll see you soon.